Hey everybody, Jesse Nyberg here, back with a new video. I just wanted to make a quick video about 10 useful hotkeys and tips in Adobe Photoshop. These have been pretty helpful to me over the years. Some of these may seem kind of obvious to you, but just want to put it out there for anyone who may need some help in Adobe Photoshop. And so with that being said, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out all the stuff in the description, and let's get into it. All right, so first up is all um, option drag to copy things. Um, so if you command T to bring up that transform tool, bring that down, enter. And some of you might know about this one, but it works in Illustrator as well. But if you wanna copy something by dragging it without having to do uh, edit copy or command C, you just hold option, click and drag. And you can do this as many times to create as many copies of something as you would like. As well as if you hold option and shift, you can drag it by keeping it on the same baseline to line things up perfectly. So number two is gonna be the alt option in the layer panel to isolate a layer. So let's say you have a big um, layer with a bunch of images and things like this, right? and this one's on top and you wanna see just this layer, you would go to it and you click on the eyeball and hold option or alt and click right there and it'll isolate it and turn all the other ones off. And if you wanna turn it back on, so it's just by, uh, brings all the other ones back, option or alt and click again. Number three is the alt option drag to constrain proportions. So, most people know if you hold like that without holding shift, it'll keep your proportions. And one helpful thing I've always used over the years is if you hold uh, alt or option when you do this, it actually constrains it from the center. And you can add shift onto it to modify it freely, but it'll still be going from the center. So on the list is number four and it's the navigator. So, Let's say you have your composition set up, whatever you may, doing, may be doing. Maybe you got some type in there. All right, and you wanna see how this is gonna look at a smaller scale. So you go to window and open up the navigator. And I use this for thumbnails and smaller icons a lot and stuff. So you can make this as big or as small as you want. And you can see how it'll look at different sizes. So usually just keep it around here while I'm working and it directly reflects, reflects what you're doing. And it's pretty cool for that. All right, the next one up is control or command backspace. And that will fill uh, with the back color you have right here in your two options. So let's say you have a mask or something. So you have, you create your mask and you wanna make it all filled in. You, push, you can push X also to switch these two. So the back one's black, command backspace, fills it with black. If you wanna bring the image back in, switch it to the white on the back, command backspace. So that also is really helpful when working with mask or filling the whole uh, artboard with a solid color. All right, the next one I have up is dragging guides from the rulers to help you with aligning things. So let's say you wanna line something up and you can go here to window, or sorry, view rulers or command R. And then from here you can just click and drag these guides and you can line them up with your type. Maybe you wanna get everything positioned like that. And then you can make it so stuff snaps to it like this, line things up pretty easily that way. And you can also use control colon or semicolon to view and hide your guides. All right, so next one up is the hotkey for clipping masks. So let's say you want this image in the background to be within this square and you have it above. Normally you can just go create clipping mask and it'll put it in there. But a nice little hotkey for it is you hold alt and you click right above the other layer like that and you'll see that little arrow and then just click and now your image is within that clipping mask and you can do with it as you please number eight is the align tool that i use this in photoshop and illustrator all the time 
So let's say you want to align your image to the center, top, bottom, whatever it may be. You can go up top right here, go to align to canvas, center, center, and that'll always bring you right to the center point. You can do it with type, objects, whatever you want. It's also good if you want to align stuff to the left, right, top, and it gives you a good base so you know where everything is and like the four, uh, four quadrants basically. Number nine is, pertains to masking and it's the invert. So let's say you have a mask here. So let's go down here, uh, create a mask. And let's say you wanted to cut this guy out. Let's do that real rough real quick. Obviously you'd wanna go in and make that nice and tight. So and you're here and you're like, well, the mask is backwards. So you can actually just make sure you're on the mask thing, command I, and that inverts it. And you can do that either way. So usually I'll mask like this, fill in the white where my object is on the background. Then I'll just go over to the layers panel, command I or control I. All right, number 10, it's a pretty cool tip I learned. So uh, most people, including myself, I'll get all my images, group them, duplicate them, turn them into a smart object, and then add noise that way with the filter gallery. But another cool way if you wanna keep your file uh, small and not as bulky is you'll create a solid color. And then on the CMYK, on the K, just put 50. So 50% 50 black. Then you can go to filter, noise, add noise, convert it to a smart object, add the amount of noise you whatever you see fit, say 9% 9, 9%, something like that. And what you can do is just put that on overlay. So see it adds noise to the entire uh, composition, just put it at the top layer. And the reason you use gray is because it doesn't add any color to your image and white won't, will blow it out, black will make it too dark, but gray pretty much has no effect on the image. Maybe it lightens it up a little bit, but that's mostly just from the grain. All right, so that's pretty much it for the 10 useful hotkeys and tips in Adobe Photoshop. Hopefully you can get some use out of this in your future work. If this helped you, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If it really helped you or you've been on the channel, consider supporting in the Patreon. The link will be in the description and I'll see you next time. Peace.